All right, YouTube. Today we're taking a look at two resistors which have been wired up to one another in parallel and connected to a nine volt battery. And today I'm gonna walk you through how to solve for the equivalent resistance of these two resistors. Then we're gonna solve for the total current coming out of the battery. And once we've done that, we're gonna solve for the current and voltage across each of these resistors. So the first thing we're gonna do is combine or reduce these two resistors down to find their equivalent resistance. That is to say, we're gonna solve for the total resistance which they provide on the battery, or really the amount of resistance you could say the battery feels by having to run charge through both of these resistors. Now these two resistors are connected to one another in what's called parallel. We say these are in parallel because when the current comes out of the battery through this wire and gets to this point right here, the current splits. See, some of it will go this way and some of the current will go this way. Now, depending on which way the current travels, it's either gonna go through one resistor or the other, but not both before returning back to the battery. And so it's in the splitting of the current through one resistor or the other, which we refer to as having the resistors in parallel. Now, mathematically, we can combine resistors in parallel using this equation. So applying each of these resistors to this equation, we find the equivalent resistance of the circuit is four ohms. And ultimately what this means is the battery is gonna behave as though it is a nine volt battery, which has been hooked up to a four ohm resistor. And now that we know both the voltage of the battery and the equivalent resistance of the circuit, we can solve for the total current, which is coming out of the battery. See, so using Ohm's law, we know there's a nine volt battery, which is gonna produce some current when hooked up to a four ohm resistor. And we find that current out of the battery is 2.25 amps. So now having solved for the total current out of the battery, we can back up to our original circuit in order to figure out the total current and voltage across each of these resistors. See, since these two resistors combine to be equal to a four ohm resistor, the battery has no idea whether it's hooked up to these two different resistors or a single four ohm resistor. It's gonna behave the same and it will have the same current drawn from it. Now the current's gonna travel through this wire and at this point split, where some of it will go to the left through the six ohm resistor and the rest will go through the 12 ohm resistor. And unfortunately, we don't have a real easy way to solve for the current through each of those resistors. But what we can do is look at voltage to figure out what's happening here. See, when a charge leaves this battery, it's gonna have nine volts of potential. And as long as it moves along a wire that has no resistance in it, a charge at any point along this wire is still gonna have nine volts of potential. Now working backwards from the battery, we know charge as it enters the battery has zero volts of potential left. That means any point along this entire wire is gonna have zero volts of potential. And if you look closely at these resistors, you'll notice the potential goes from nine volts on one side of the resistor to zero volts on the other. That means each of these resistors has nine volts of potential across them. So again, using Ohm's law, we're now gonna use the voltage across each resistor as well as the value of each resistor to solve for the current in each particular resistor. So starting with the six ohm resistor, we find there's 1.5 amps of current passing through the six ohm resistor. And be careful here, the current doesn't just split half and half because these two resistors have different values. So we're gonna again apply Ohm's law, this time to the 12 ohm resistor. And we find this 0.75 amps of current passing through this 12 ohm resistor. And there's an easy way to check to make sure we've done everything right here. And that is looking at current in this circuit. You'll notice there's 2.25 amps of current coming out of the battery. And we know that current splits when it gets to this wire, some going through here, some going through there. So if we add together the current through each of these resistors, 1.5 plus 0.75 amps, we should find the total current through these two resistors combined 
is the total current in the circuit. So this is how we analyze a circuit to find the equivalent resistance, current out of the battery, as well as current and voltage across each resistor when resistors are wired together in parallel. So I hope you found this helpful, and on that note, that's all for now.